Previously on a working title. Can you guys believe this is our last semester in college? It feels like it's four years just flew by. Yes, so what are you guys gonna do after graduating? <laughs> well, I guess that answers my question. Come on, man, it's not an easy question to answer right now. Especially when we don't know what's going on with our show. God, Pat Marlin keep us from living the dream. Seriously, you couldn't even ninja roll up? It's not like you lured him out of the room. Lured me out of my office? But now I think I've made my decision for real. You guys are banned from the studio for life. It's 15, bro. Uh, well, I don't think you're in. Maybe. Oh, hey, you guys, you're not gonna believe this. You're, you're gay? gay? What? No. No, I got a letter. Wait, people still write letters? Yeah, it's from Peter. Oh, Peter? Where has he been? I haven't seen him at all this semester. Yeah. Well... Dear Toby, Brian, Luke, and Tom, I hope that all of you are well. I apologize for not sending you this letter sooner, but I've been so busy with my personal life. You see, my life has made a change for the better. This past winter break, I traveled abroad to Paris where I met a lovely maiden right outside the city. We have become madly in love, and I have devoted my life to making her the happiest woman in the world. I, um, will not be coming back to you, Con, but I do wish to say that you guys were my best friends, and I will never forget you guys. I wish you the best in all of your future endeavors. Love, Peter. No, I I'm done. Where did this even come from? I have no idea, but I guess we're not gonna be seeing him around anymore. Well, at least that's one less person we have to worry about for the show. Yeah, if we even have a show. You're right. And where the hell is Tom anyway? I haven't seen him since he was supposed to go on that date with Casey. Yeah, me neither. He probably blew it. But she didn't. Oh, shit! Yeah. <laughs> you guys are sick in the head. Head. Exactly what Tom did get. Oh, shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah! Yeah! Funny as fuck! Yeah! Don't you think this is getting a little forced? That's what she said! Dude, dude, let's not go there. Thanks, Susan. Are you guys done? Yes. yes. I actually saw him a couple of days ago, but he was acting kind of weird. <sighs> hey guys. Hey. Whoa, wait. What the fuck is wrong with you? What are you talking about? No. What's up, fuckers? What the hell? Is that a scarf? What? What? Do I have need to like have a catchphrase or something? It's not we're on a TV show or anything. So anyways, what's up with you guys? What's up with us? What's up with you? How'd your day with Casey go? Oh, well, that's a bust. <laughs> but either way, she still agreed to, you know, help us get a show back. I called it. You I did. called it. You did. Well, that sucks, man. That didn't go well. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 It was definitely, you know, eye opening. But anyways, here's the plan. This is what we're going to do. We start out by heading over to the UCTV studio. No, we are not doing that bullshit ninja roll thing again. Ooh. Jesus, just let me finish. That's, That's what, what she said! said. <laughs> Seriously, you guys need to stop. Anyways... So we start out by heading over to the studio. Casey set us up with Carrie from Human Resources to have our show looked at by the executive board. So basically all we have to do is meet with all the exec board members, suck up to them to get them to like us, and then they'll be able to overthrow Marlon's decision. There's no way that this could fail. Well, it's definitely better than your last plan. Guys, I wish I could help you, man, but I gotta go study. I'm gonna be going to chill with, um, nobody. You mean James? The gay guy? Look, he's not gay, bro. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Yeah, it's fine, but I gotta go to the YouTube because I'm gonna study. With James. So that's three times the fourth wall's been broken in this scene?
Hey, buddy. Oh, hey, Brian. How are you? I'm all right. Just all right? What's going on? Well, I just realized it's kind of nice to be around someone that's actually nice to me. Are people not usually nice to you? What's up with that? Well, it's just my friends, man. Sometimes they're assholes, you know? Don't worry about that. Here, let me take care of you. Uh, what the hell are you doing? You seem tense. Here, just relax. I was. Yo, but guys, we're so close. So close we can almost taste it. What? Nothing. Anyways, with all the shit we've been through, we better get our show back. Yeah, definitely. Let's, fucking, Let's do it. Let's yeah. fucking go. Are you a UCTV exec board member? Yeah, I am. How can I help you? Uh, Casey said that uh, we could talk to an exec member about getting our show back, maybe? Your show back? What do you mean? You guys are hilarious. But Marlon said we were canceled. Marlon? He has no say in here. You guys are fine. Seriously? I scrubbed toilets. My girlfriend got pissed on for this. Babe, it's me, open up. Hey, you. I love these surprise drop bys. You always keep me guessing. Come here, you spontaneous stud. Are you talking to somebody in here? I thought I heard something. I was watching TV, silly. Oh. Huh. All right. What the hell is this? Don't you ever say I just walked away I will always want you I came in like a wrecking ball Yo, bro, you're never gonna guess what happened. I think James is gay for me. What? Well, we were hanging out today, and things got pretty weird. Hey man, <laughs> look what I got for us. Cranberries, your oh, favorite. Shit. The, that's here. cool. Got a big one right here. This for you? Uh, dude, dude, I'm, I'm good, man, I'm good. I'll have, I'll have some later, but thanks, man. Are you sure it wasn't more like... Wow, maybe that did happen. Well, bro, what were you trying to tell me? We got our show back. Oh shit, really? Yeah, I guess Marlon didn't know what he was talking about. He had no power to cancel us. Damn, we got our show back. We can start writing again. All right, yeah. We all get inspired. I'll be mad cool. Yo, and I put my show back on there. You know, my YouTube channel? <laughs> That'd be sick. Bro, and you can probably do something, you know, about cooking or something. Did you make, like, brownies for someone once? Yo, do you want to eat? <sighs> what? I don't have any food. 
So you always lie when you go out on dates? Well, then maybe you need to stop the whole lying thing. Maybe that's the reason it doesn't work out with you and girls. Well, while you figure that out, I'm gonna go. You seem like a nice guy, but you have a lot to work on. Ugh, I really need to stop taking those Tuesday post-wings over naps. And what is product placement anyways? Meh, whatever. I really need some Aquafina. Bro, what the hell are you freaking out about? Wait, wait, what? You had one bad date. Get over yourself. Dude, it hasn't been one bad date. It's been every date. What, what the hell's wrong with me? Um, has it occurred to you that maybe these things aren't working out with these girls for a reason? What, what, what do you mean? Wait, 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 what the hell are you doing here? You're not even wanted. Well, considering this is a figment of our imagination, it seems like someone wants me here. What the hell is going on here? Think about your last date. You knew it wasn't gonna end well, so you bailed early and said that you were lying to her. Self-sabotage! Bro, stop talking! No, 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 hold on. What are you trying to say? Psh, honey. If I knew the answer, would we be having this conversation? I, I just don't know what to do. Ooh, well once wise man Michael Nguyen once said- Bro, I don't have time for your fourth wall nonsense right now. Ooh, okay then. You're always so mean to him. Yo, fuck off. You're not even supposed to exist. Get your ass out of here. Make me. I will. You'll have to catch me first. Ugh. Ugh. God damn it. Ugh. Um, uh, James, what, what are you doing here? Oh, hey, Brian. I hadn't heard from you in a while, so I figured I would just I'll wait around here and see if you would show up. Wait, what? So where have you been the past couple weeks? Uh, I, well, just I was Don't just... worry about it. I'm sure it's all a big misunderstanding. <laughs> but hey, I heard you got your show back. That's awesome news. Uh, yeah, actually, I was just about to go edit for it. Oh, awesome. I'll, I'll join you. I can't wait to see what stuff you guys got going on over there. <laughs> yeah, sure, man. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Wait, 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 wait. James, listen, I gotta talk to you about something. Yeah? What's up? <sighs> listen, I don't want to make this weird or anything. But I think that maybe... Look... I'm not gay. What What are you talking about? Look, bro, if you're like into me, it's okay. In, like, I appreciate into it. Into you? You think I'm gay? Well, uh, well, I talk to a lot of people who... Well, no, no, I'm not gay. I, I'm appalled that you would even think that of me. Well, you know, you just, you just seem so... Okay, Brian, look, I'm sorry, but after you say something like that, I just can't be friends with you anymore. I hope you understand. What the fuck? <sighs> What's up, bro? Yeah, how was that? It was pretty good. I ran into James, though. Wait, the gay guy? He's not gay, man. He said so himself. Wait, what? Well, I told him I wasn't interested because I thought he was into me. Then he got mad and he said we couldn't be friends anymore. Well, that's kind of weird. Yeah. You guys been, like, coming up with stuff for the show? Oh, uh, yeah, I've been uh, coming up with some new stuff for next week. Um. Uh, do you guys know any guests that would be willing to uh, come out? Uh, I mean, come in? Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I've just been, uh, you know, spending a lot of time in the closet. I, I mean, in the studio. Okay, I don't have time for this coded message that you're trying to send us. I have to go to bed. Seriously, though, are you okay, dude? Yeah, I'm fine. Um, I... Yeah, well, let's just get back to, uh, you know, work on this episode for next week, right? Right? Yeah.
No, I haven't seen him in a while. Hey, have you seen the UCTV guy? Does it look like I know? How hard is it to lose a guy with a TV head? Hey, have you seen the UCTV guy? Uh, how naked do I have to get? Have you seen the UCTV guy? Wh who? I, I, what? What? The, what? I, 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 he doesn't even I, go I, here! Don't you ever say I just walked away I will always want you I came in like a wrecking ball You know what I hate? Shows like this that show no character development. Like, yeah, that's awful. <laughs> you feel like the characters don't grow or change or anything. Yeah, but you know what's worse? When they don't, like, show how they started. Mm, what do you mean? Well, you know, like, the main character in the series, they don't show how they met. Oh, I got you. That does suck. Yeah, how hard is it to put in two lines about how the characters, like, met up? Yeah, exactly. Like the time we met back in middle school. And, uh, yeah, I was writing that racist essay about being half black, half white. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and how I met you through Toby sophomore year when we took calc class together. No, and I remember you helped me out with my calc homework right here. Yeah, you didn't help me out. Bro, you didn't need it. Yeah, and I did. You wouldn't be proud of that. But wait, how did we meet Tom again? All I remember is I met him through you. Yeah, same here. Yeah, it's nothing special. He was just on my floor freshman year and he wouldn't leave me alone. Yeah, that sounds about right. How long did that take us? Like two minutes? Yeah. It would take a show no time to do character development like that. Unless they show everything through flashbacks. Yeah, that's true. It would be a lot of effort. But I'd give a show a pass if they weren't able to do that by the time they were trying to wrap up. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? James! Uh, what are you doing here? Hey Brian, I know it's a little awkward between us now. Are we doing another Zoe thing here? But I'm not here for you, I'm here for Tom. Wait, Tom, why? He's not even here. Uh, don't you guys know? Know what? Uh, hey guys, have you seen- Ash! Jeez! What are you- Who's this guy? Who's this guy? You asked me to be here. No, I- I don't even- I don't even know who you are. Uh, yeah, we're going on a date tonight. What? What? Could you just shut up for a second? Jesus. Tom. What's going on here? There's nothing going on here! James, just get out of here, James. No, 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 I'm interested. Why don't you uh, tell me what's going on? <sighs> Wait, whoa. Do you guys know each other? For the last time, nothing is going on here! Tom, you're lying. Clearly. You're almost always lying. That's true. Okay, 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 fine. <sighs> I've been doing a lot of soul searching this semester. Oh, here we go. Let me get to the point for you. You weren't going real far with girls, so you decided to go gay. Am I right? Could you just let me have my moment? Jeez. And you know what? That's not even entirely right anyways. Like, I don't know. I just felt like I've never been that into girls. I've never been that attached to any of them, really. It's like all this time, I've just been pretending to be something that I'm not. I act like this overconfident douchebag, but in reality, I'm just insecure about who I am. And I can't keep doing this. I can't keep pretending to be something that I'm not. I can't keep suppressing the side of me that wants to come out. <laughs> and now I feel like I finally accepted who I am. I'm done trying to pretend to be something that I'm not. And you know what? I've been happy with James for the past month. And I know I've been embarrassed to tell you guys, but sorry, by the way. I, I feel like I'm open enough to tell you guys now. I mean, I love you guys. Whoa, whoa. One guy at a time, bro. It's <laughs> like the 80s. Why do we always have to find out about Tom's lies instead of him telling us? Hey man, good for you. Me personally, I've always kind of had a hunch. 
Really? Well... Dude, I can't wait to go to this concert. It's gonna be great. I didn't know you felt so strongly about Lady Gaga. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Anybody can like Lady Gaga. She is a beautiful, talented woman. Yeah, that's true. She was pretty awesome. She is pretty awesome. But, uh... I can't tell you guys, but uh, I gotta go out with um, James. So, you know... See you guys tomorrow! <laughs> Thanks guys. Can't wait to see your last show. Wow. I can't believe it. Tom's gay. Hey yo. <laughs> Fuck. What? You guys had a bet? Yeah, it was a long time ago. Yeah, it was before the show started. Yeah. And now it's almost over. Yeah, I can't believe we have to film our last episode tomorrow. I mean, the fact that we even have a show is amazing. I'm gonna miss it. Yeah, we fought so hard to get it, now we have to leave. Yeah, but that's okay guys. I mean, come on, we're on to better things. I'm going to med school, you're going to grad school in California, and Brian has a job lined up editing at an advertising company. I mean, it might be the end of our show, but it isn't the end of our lives. We have a lot ahead of us. And we can't keep living in the past, because it'll only hold us back. You're right, man, you're right. Oh, I gotta go, I told Liz I'd meet her later. Well, hold on, man, I gotta go to the studio so I can edit. What are you doing, Slip? I'm gonna stay in. Finals are coming up, and I need to be ready. Alright, good luck with that, man. Always studying. Some things never change. <laughs> yeah, some things do never change. To the beginning of the end. And to new beginnings. Every new beginning. Whatever, man. It's the same thing. Toby, shut up, man. I'm the best character on the show. People yeah. tell me that. Come on, America's not ready for a black man to be their favorite character. Oh, shut the fuck up. Let's just watch it. Exactly. Hey, wait, 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 hold on. Guys, think about this for a second. This is our last show. This is the last thing that we've made before leaving UConn. Fuck. Wow. You know, I, I didn't think about it till now, but you know what? Let's watch it and see everything we've accomplished. Yeah. You guys ready? that was the end of our Yukon adventure. Life got pretty crazy afterwards, as I'm sure you can figure out. Toby got his master's in California, pursuing a career in television production. It was then that he asked Liz to marry him, and she gladly agreed. They lived happily married, right up until the divorce. Brian stayed at the advertising company for a few years, and eventually moved on to editing Hollywood film trailers which I eventually convinced him to let me do voiceovers for. Luke ended up staying at UConn a few more years to go to medical school and became a very successful neurosurgeon. Not exactly what he wanted, but I wouldn't be complaining if I were him. And if you're wondering if he still carries on his record of crazy chicks, well, he finally settled down with this nice girl that he luckily found using the internet. This time, he was able to stay away from the porn sites. Speaking of crazy girls, Zoe ended up sticking around with Lenny, like some weird match made in heaven. They're both crazy. Beyond crazy. Uh, but anyways, I digress. I ran into Amber a few years back, and it seems like she went on to become a successful lawyer, and ended up staying away from smoking weed for the rest of her life. Remember, drugs are bad, don't do them, and you can become successful like Amber. <laughs> wow, I'm really getting sidetracked. Um, anyways, let's not forget about Carl and Edgar. They eventually did get their own show following squirrels around England. They even found the rarely seen green squirrel, which at first I thought was just a weird Carl thing. But nope, that's real. And as for Peter, he ended up staying in France with his lovely maiden, where they happily spent their days selling crystal meth. And me? Well, you guys know what happened. I spent a few years as a freelance film director before I eventually got engaged to James. Then, 
we started a family. And the rest is history. So that, kids, is the story of how I met your father. So wait. The whole time you were talking about this television show, when you were really trying to tell a story about how you met Dad? Yeah, that's it? That's it. Thank you.